Hello. We are going to talk about collecting and about looking at a future price based on an assumption of the exponential growth of that price, which is not really reality-based, but then it could be. So let's do it. Our first problem talks about coin collectors. A coin sold for $285 in 1975. That's our first bit of data right there. And was sold again in 1988 for $441. That's our second bit of data. Assume that the growth in the value V of the collector's item was exponential. Now A says find K. Well, what's K? Let's take a walk down memory lane, what we talked about in the last class. The general formula for exponential growth is A of T, that is the amount after time, equals A naught, the original amount, times E to the K T, where K is the growth rate. Okay, now this particular problem is referring to all of that as V, so let's create a different, slightly different general formula, V of T equals V naught times E to the KT. All right, now we're going to use our data to find K. The first year we're given is 1975. Everything is going to be based on what happened to the price of this coin in 1985, uh, 1975. Okay, so let's come down here. We've got V of T, the value after a certain number of years, equals V naught, the initial value, the first one we're given, which is 285. E to the K T. V naught is 285. We have to find K. We need more data. We have more data. We have the price in 1988. This is going to help us a great deal. Time is based on 1975. So 1988 minus 1975 will tell us how many years after 1975 the price was $441, right, 441. So we go to our calculator, punch it a few times to get it to wake up, 
and we say 1988 minus 1975. 1988, of course, if we were doing it on paper, we would have found it out by now. 1975. It's 13 years. Okay. Ah, no, I don't want a Windows update. Not now, please, not now. All right, so that'll give us what? This will give us Four forty one equals two eighty five times E to the K times thirteen because the price was four forty one after thirteen years. All right, now I have an equation here. I have an exponential equation. The first step in solving an exponential equation is to take the number in front here and divide both sides by it. But definitely not to put it in the calculator, not yet. Okay, so E to the 13K equals 441 over 285. Just be patient. We will put that in the calculator eventually. We're gonna take the LN of both sides first though. so that the ln of 441 over 285 equals 13k times the ln of e, and the ln of e is one. My favorite number equals one. So what that means, what does that mean? That the ln of 441 over 285 equals 13K. Because 13K times one is 13K. To isolate K, to get K by itself, I divide both sides of this equation by 13. There you go. 13 cancels out over here. K equals this. The exact answer is the ln of 441 over 285 divided by 13. We're going to put that in the calculator after I find out how many places I need to round to. Round to the nearest thousandth. That's three decimal places. In case you forget, the number 1,000 has three zeros. That's how you can remember what the decimal place is. The thousandth means the third decimal place. You're going to round to three decimal places. Okay, let's do this. The LN of 441 divided by 285, close parentheses, divided by 13, 
is this. Make it a little smaller there. Now we're rounding to three decimal places. One, two, three. The fourth decimal place is a five. That will cause this three to round up to a four. So our answer is going to be 0 0.034. And that's what K is going to equal. Zero point zero three four. Now we can do B. It's not going to take any calculation. What was, ah, yes. V of T equals 285 E to the KT. Now we know what K is. So V of T equals 285 times E to the 0 0.03. 3-4-T. This is our specific formula. We found K by working with our, our initial data and then the next data we were given. That was the purpose of giving this second set of data. Initial data, very important. That also tells you what year all the other times are going to be based upon. Okay, now it says estimate the value of the coin in 2008. Well, that means, let's not get this out of the way yet, T in part C is going to equal 2008 minus 1975. Let's find out how many years that is. 2008 minus 1975. It's 33. So the value is going to be V of 13. In other words, the value, it's not 13, it's 33. The value 33 years later is going to be 285 times E to the 0 0.034 times 33. So all we have to do is plug that in the calculator. 285, now watch this, second LN. Oops. There. I, I Second LN, I'm going to do this from the beginning so you'll see it. 285, second L in gives me E and a box to put my power in. 
Well, that's 0 0.034 times 33. Enter. And I have 875.232163. I do not know how many places I'm supposed to round to. So, I'll copy this and write it here. And then it says round to the nearest dollar. Well, the nearest dollar is 875. Then we have a point two, but that will not cause the five to round up to a six. So our answer for part C is $875. Probably that's all you have to put, but if you wanna be exact, put a dot zero, zero, it will look very fancy. Now, what about the doubling time? Remember what doubling time is. This is part D, doubling time. So let's Make some more room. There. D. Doubling time. So here's our specific formula, 285e to the 0.034t. Doubling time, that's the time it will take for this value after time to be two times the 285, which is our initial value. So two times 285 equals 285 times E to the 0.034 T. And I divide both sides by the number in front of E. That's 285. Boom, 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 boom. I'm left with a 2 on the left. And on the right, E equals 0 0.03. For T. Now I have to solve for T, which means I need to bring T down to the baseline here. And there's only one thing that will do that. Logarithms. And since we have an E here, we're going to use LN. We're going to take the LN the natural log of both sides of the equation. And then, we can use the power rule of logarithms to bring down that exponent to the front of the LN, 0 0.0. .0 
zero three four T times the LN of E, which is one. Zero point zero three four T times one is zero point zero three four T. So to isolate T, I divide by 0 0.034 on both sides of the equation. On the right, 0 0.034 cancels out. And this is the exact answer And I'm going to put that in the calculator to find out what the calculator answer is. LN2 over 0.034. The LN of 2, close your paren, divided by, whoops, divided by, 0 0.034, enter. That's my answer. It'll be 20 something years. So, Whoa. Okay, that's good. Now, I don't know how many places to round to. The nearest tenth of a year, that's one decimal place. Ten, the number ten, has one zero. So a tenth is one decimal place. Now one decimal place is a three, followed by an eight, which will cause the three to round up to a four. So 20.4 years. And I'll go on up here and write it in the appropriate place. 20.4 years. Now we have one more question and I appear to have run out of room. So I hate to do it, but I am going to have to add a page. Insert, position, let's see. Pages to add one to page one. All right, and grid paper, notebook paper, got it. All right, so we go on to E. Eighteen thirty nine. How many years, my gosh, how many years find the amount of time after which the value of the coin will be eighteen thirty nine, one thousand eight hundred thirty nine dollars? Ooh. Okay. 
V of T, value after time, equals, and that's going to be 1839, by the way, V of T equals 285 times E to the 0 0.034 T. Believe it or not, that's a decimal point. 285 E to the 0 0.034 T. Coffee. Okay, step one, I divide both sides by the number in front of E. I do not put it in the calculator yet. Why? Because of round off error. It can cause you to get a wrong answer and you don't want that. Who would want a wrong answer? 1839 over 285. We're going to take the LN of both sides. because that will permit us to bring the exponent down in front. LN, 1839 over 285 equals 0 0.034 T times the LN of E, and you know what that is, one. So that means that 0.034t equals the LN of 1839 over 285. And to get T by itself, we divide both sides of the equation by 0.034. Cancel, cancel, T equals, and it really ought to be about. So let's find out. LN. Oh, let's clear first. LN. 1839. Divided by 285. And then divide that by 0 0.034. And that's my answer. And then I'll check and see how many places we have to round to. Okay, whoa. There. E, nearest tenth. All right, that's one decimal place. Here's the one decimal place followed by a three, which will not cause the eight to round up to a nine. So our answer is 58.8 years if expectations continue to hold. 
for that little coin. 54.8. So here, here's our problem. First, we had to find K. And then after we had K and we had this specific formula, we could answer all the other questions. Okay, we have a toy tractor problem next. A toy tractor sold for $284 in 1978 and was sold again in 1986 for $473. There again, we have our two different data items. We'll even color them differently this time. How about yellow? and pink. There we go. We know what to expect now because this problem is very much like the other problem. Here is our first data set, initial data set. And our second data, data set. And we're going to use both of these in order to find K, not day, data. All right, so assume that the growth in the value V of the collector's item was exponential, which means First, I do this. This is the very basic formula for all exponential growth. But here they call it V. So V of T, the value after time, equals V naught E to the K T. And here they tell us what V naught is. Ah, but we haven't found K, have we? No, we have not. So to find K, we have to use the second data set. So here we have V of T, this is A. V of T equals V naught which is the initial amount 284. Okay, now. In 1986, the toy tractor was worth $473. Now T is going to be 1986 minus 1978. Really? I think that's eight years, but let's see. Let's make absolutely certain. 1986 minus 1978 is eight, yes. So we'll put that here. 
k times 8. And I'll move the k in the 8 in front of the k next step. But right now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 284, which cancels out on the right the whole reason I did it. 473 over 284 equals e to the 8 <clears throat> k. I take the ln of both sides. Then I do this. 473 over 284 equals 8k times the ln of e, which is 1. So we divide both sides by 8 in order to get k by itself, so k equals the ln of 473 over 284, all over 8. So I wanna make sure my numbers are correct. 284, 473, okay. Now I do this, the ln of 473 divided by 284, close paren, divide 8. Right there. The ln of 473 over 284, close parentheses, divided by 8, is this and more going off to the right. There it is, not even on the right problem. No. Ooh. Okay. So, how many places are we supposed to round to? Round to the nearest thousandth, which means three decimal places. One, two, three decimal places. One, two, three. The fourth decimal place is a seven, which does cause the three to round up to a four. Point zero six four. Okay. Now we know what K is we can write the specific formula that works with this problem that lets us find the answers to all the other problems. 284. E to the 0.064 T. That's the formula we're going to use for the rest of these problems.
I should say for the rest of the of the sub questions in this problem. OK, now C. Estimate the value of the toy tractor in 2015. Well, 2015. Minus. 1978. Um. 2015 minus 1978 is 37. So we are going to have V of, excuse me, V of 37 equals 280 four times e to the 0 0.064 times 37. How about that? So all we have to do is calculate. We don't have to do any algebra for this. 284 second ln 0 0.064 parentheses 37 parentheses closed. There, enter. Okay. After 37 years, we're rounding to the nearest dollar. That nine is going to cause that one to go up to a two. So let's copy this down. Three zero three two. That's a lot. Okay. Now, what is the doubling time? Well, the doubling time, if you remember. Does have a formula. But let's not use it. Unless we're absolutely desperate. For space. Doubling time. OK. Uh, doubling time is going to be two times the initial amount. Oops, 284 equals 284 e to the 0.064 t. First thing, divide by. 284 divide by 284 boom 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 yeah which gives us two well which gives us there two equals E 
to the 0 0.60, uh, uh, 0 0.064 T. And then you take the LN of both sides. And you bring that exponent down in front, LN2 equals 0.064t times the ln of e, which is 1. So since that's 1, it's really not necessary that it be there. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0.064. 0 0.064, boom, boom, T equals. LN2 divided by 0 0.064. About 10 years. About 11 years. That's good enough. So we round to the nearest tenth. The nearest tenth. Well, the nearest tenth. Is 0.8 followed by a 3. That 3 will not cause the 8 to round up. So 10.8 is a wonderful answer. 10.8 years. And then finally, E, how much time will it take for this toy tractor to be worth $3,674? Well, three, six, seven, four. Let's see if we can do it all in one step. Well, I mean, not all in one step, but all in one page. Three, six, seven, four equals two, eighty, four times e to the zero point zero six four t. Ah, uh, and we also will be rounding to one tenth. Okay, step one, divide both sides of the equation by 284. And cancel it out over on the right so that we have 3674 over 284 equals e to the to the 0.064 t take the ln of both sides so the ln of 3674 over 284 equals 0.064 t times the ln of e, which is 1, so we don't need it. And divide both sides by 0 0.064, 0 0.064, cancel, cancel. Whoo-hoo! Oh, 
OK, T is going to equal this. Somewhat ugly thing right here. So let's find out what it is. Three, six, seven, four. Okay. Ellen. Let's clear this. Ellen. Three, six, seven, four divided by two, eighty, four. Close paren. Divided by zero point. Zero six four. And we are rounding to the nearest tenth, but look at all those zeros. So we can safely say forty years. Okay. Now I invite you to do the dollhouse problem that follows, but I think we've spent a lot of time on this so you can get the idea and go right on through it. I'll talk to you later when we talk about exponential decay, radioactive decay. What is all that radiation stuff about anyway? Okay, back soon. Bye-bye.